So first of all, um, loss and conscientious objection cannot be applicable where patients are in emergency circumstances. Uh, the legal burden of uh, proof uh, or proving um, um, the, the grounds for, for conscientious objection, um, they must, it must be discharged by a person claiming uh, a conscientious objection. So if I'm invoking conscientious objection, it is up to me to, um, uh, to discharge the burden of proof. Right? Uh, health uh, care professionals who object, for instance, to performing abortions may be exempted from, um, uh, from their professional duties, so from directly conducting the procedures in question, but not from providing more general um, uh, care, such as, for instance, the post-operative uh, recovery. Uh, only professionals who are directly um, involved in um, uh, the performance of medical services uh, can invoke grounds of conscience uh, for the purpose of, in, in, uh, of exemption. So, for instance, not a medical secretary, right? Um, uh, institutions and clinics, uh, so any other entities than natural persons, uh, cannot uh, conscientiously uh, object, even if they are run by religious communities. Uh, the duty of such facilities is to employ, to employ adequate staff to provide competent delivery of services to which some staff uh, members may uh, conscientiously object, ob object or to have standing arrange arrangements with other institutions or with natural persons who will provide uh, alternative um, services. Um, providers who invoke conscience to refuse to perform services on patients um, uh, must be legally obliged to refer the, the, the patients to uh, other appropriate uh, providers and it must be an effective right. Uh, so, what we need um, uh, is, first of all, the appeal procedures and the supervisory procedures, so that uh, we don't have to deal with the problem of implicit conscientious objection, that's something which was um, mentioned by um, Dr. Lambert. And uh, medical or other healthcare students uh, with a conscientious objection to a reproductive health procedure, for instance, but also to other medical procedures which uh, may raise uh, well, the objections um, based on conscience, um, uh, cannot refuse instruction or examination of, in performance of the procedure under the pain of uh, forfeiting qualifications. If you decide that you want to be um, a student of medicine, then sorry, you have to follow the whole course, right? Otherwise, you cannot become a doctor.